everyone, and we're back. My name is... Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Call of Cthulhu. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! That was stupid as fucking death. <laughs> okay. Guess I know who I'm saving a bullet for. <laughs> See, because now I know I don't have infinite ammo. <laughs> No infinite ammo for me, I guess. Do I have any points? No, I don't. Crap. Doom. This is fine. I'm not here. Me being here is fake news. Okay, so he goes around that. You don't see me. You don't see me. You seeing me is fake news. I don't. Not here. All right, what's your route, my dude? kind of stare at the wall? Okay then, dude. You have fun! <gasps> it's a duder! Oh, this is fine. <laughs> I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong here. And by nothing, I mean absolutely everything can go wrong. <laughs> Alright. It feels like we're getting to the end of the game now. Oh. Okay. Chapter 13. I can't remember how many chapters are in this game. Since it's a horror game and stuff, it wouldn't surprise me if we were in the last chapter, because 13. Evil and lucky number. I guess we'll see, though. I wonder which ending I'm gonna get. Probably not a good one because it's my first time playing through. And usually first time playthroughs equal not good ending. Before she does something bad. <laughs> Damn it, Sarah. Why'd you have to do a dumb? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You're never supposed to mess with the mythos. It's not gonna end well for you. Okay. Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. <laughs> What's with the sudden I'm panting and dying on the inside voice, my dude? Like really bad chat lips. <laughs> okay. They took my gun away! Those bastards! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is this the whale? The building from earlier? No, it's not. Okay. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. The what? <laughs> whale! Sperm whale! Okay. I assume we've got some sort of puzzle in here. Oh dear, what do my eyes see? They see a key! Who is singing? 
It is not what I clicked on. Game, I swear to God. This, this system of switching your light is the stupidest part of this game. Fuck you. Fuller was a crew member too. God damn Interesting. it. Okay. Seriously, the using the mouse wheel to scroll is the stupidest part of this game. Another got a volume book. of the Reverend's wife's diary. I don't think I've read any of those. <laughs> There's still a secret in here. For, oh! Looks like a page from a log from 1847. We're starving the fish seem to have deserted from these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could set off immunity. Each day more and more men can't um, believe in his tales of a miraculous catch. Ah, so Fitzroy is the one who caught the miraculous catch, which is obviously a Cthulian creature or a Mythos creature. And the Mythos creature chased away all the fish, which then sort of, over time, forced the denizens of the fishing village to start eating the miraculous catch. So they were consuming c Mythos creature flesh. Never a good sign. Uh, we will catch and bring it home to feed our families. Oh, okay, so wait. So Fitzroy was already talking about the Miraculous Catch, so he was already a cultist before they went and caught it. Okay. I hear singing. Seems like it's gonna end poorly. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. Okay. What do I need to use a knife for? It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors. The whole crew is descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions, and the nightmarish city and a sleeping god. Relay and Cthulhu. Madness, I locked myself in the cabin. I won't be able to hold up for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, have to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Rude. Doesn't work. Okay. But I need to make it go back across. Right? Wait, what am I doing with this rope? This should oh, stop the car wait. from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. And then I can I do need this? something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Like the knife? Like the knife. Oh no, it's that. I have to do that. Okay, I'm gonna use it as a battery ram. Okay, game. Okay, game, I get you. <laughs> Here's Johnny! <laughs> oh, this is a hold up game, I gotta level up. Uh, Fox Strength, all psych. <laughs> Good thing Sarah Hawkins didn't happen to be on the other side of that doorway. That could have ended poorly for us. Dun dun! Why does this look like a boss arena? Oh shit! Sarah? No, I'm not doing it. That's not actually her. Oh, yep, it's gonna make me look. Cool. <laughs> what? Ah, tits. Hello.
No. <laughs> Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. There's always room for Who's compassion. There? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Fuck off. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude. And in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it. Can I help you? Damn it, Sarah. <laughs> Little did you know, I have maxed out investigation game. <laughs> Perfect. Fuck your puzzles. I'm going onwards. Sarah, you're such an asshole. No. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm swearing a lot in these episodes. Hi, Fuller. Oh, finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller, son of a bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with yeah, you. Yeah, because this is all in my mind. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible <laughs> creature. Uh, Leviathan. I see you already know about it. You're such well, an asshole. <laughs> shall we begin? This is gonna end well. There's the gas. I'm not doing it. No. I said no. Hold up! I said no! <laughs> ah! How do you. Uh, what, but what have you done? Let me see. I... Don't! Okay, it's forcing me to do it. Just double checking, because if I'd accidentally misclick there, that's bullshit. Game, you're an asshole. Well, that's gross. No, do not. I said no! I said no. Let me we saw that. Sample from you. Flesh. Colin. Spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. My body is not ready. You you fucking leave Colin alone. Yes shit. No. I said no! I, I killed him. I said no! A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. I said no, asshole! No. <laughs> the truth in the mythos is always a bad thing. You do not want the truth when you're dealing with the mythos. Wait a minute. Ugh. 
Mm, it's one of those. Okay. Got a friend the right door? Ah, tits. <coughs> this one? Okay. I don't quite understand what you want from me, game. Okay, I guess I did it. Well then! <laughs> Nothing's happening. Obviously. Okay, I guess we gotta go through Creeper Vision. Because when I get close, they materialize and I have to walk on the correct one, which would be here. Yes? Fuck. I almost had it. Okay. So I have to go straight. Okay. It's a little uh, memorization puzzle, I guess. Dun 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 dun. Turn straight and done. Oh, I have to tell which one is real. Right? The left, okay. So the one on the left is real, the other ones are fake. Cool. Took me a minute, but I got there. It's always the left. At least I don't have to go back around the other way this time. Not gonna hit the lever. Nothing's happening. Damn it. Oh, wait. So it's the one on the right. Yeah. Because when I get near it. Ah, tits. Ah, crap. Oh, fudge nugget. Hey, is it this one? Because this one looks solid and the other ones didn't. Yay! I did it. Now, can I throw the dumb lever? But I'm sure it was something. Oh, come on, I can jump over that. Okay. I blew it all up. What the? Oh. No, I oh, I'm auto running. I don't have to hold this button. Oh, stop going all shaky cam on me, dude. You're fine. Hi. Yes. Hi, Fitzroy. Fitzroy. Haven't seen you in a while. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. Yes, you are. Run. I won't go without a fight. I have no bullets. Actually, I think I have one. 
who think you're here of your own accord. No, not this point. Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. That's Sarah. I bet you anything. Oh, is it not? Okay. <laughs> Jump off the side. Our supreme oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. No, I won't. What? It is awakened. Jump off the side! Ah. Yeet! <laughs> ah. Well then. <laughs> Oh good, I fell into the water. That's always a great place to fall into when you're dealing with Cthulhu and Relay. I see you. You cannot escape my awareness. Yes, I can. I might be insane by the end of it because that's I the way it goes. But... Your choices, your attempts to free yourself from destiny. Is that the love? Well, so obviously, as I predicted, you have come to free. not Cthulhu. Awaken and call him. No. I mean, I love my husband, but I also like the world not being ended. Sorry. Wait. You know you're not supposed to end the world, right, husband? I don't know how much of this is going to get cut off because I cut off parts of the webcam video to make it square instead of rectangle. <laughs> no! I'm totally not going to destroy the world, Scarlet. Just do as the Leviathan says. I'm sure nothing bad could possibly happen. Seems like a bad idea. Oh god, <laughs> for a second I thought it rolled off. <laughs> mm, this all seems like a really bad idea. So we let the Leviathan loose blew up the whale place, but wasn't the Leviathan dead? But also not dead? Which I guess makes sense because Cthulhu. <sighs> oh dear. <coughs> That's okay. The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. Because the Leviathan's <laughs> gone. Don't laugh. Sarah. Oh no, I can't use my inventory anymore. <laughs> oh dear. I fell a long ways. Hmm, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Trap. Shut up. Keep going. Shut up. Oh my god. This way. No. <laughs> Stand up. Walk. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm gonna end up releasing Cthulhu by the end of this, aren't I? Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Probably Sarah. It's most likely Sarah. Where am I? Sure, nothing bad could possibly happen. God, I wish you would stop with the wibbly wobbly vision. Again, game developers, don't 
don't make it too heavy on the wibbly wobbly vision. Some of us have trouble with motion sickness in video go oh, fuck another painting. Well then. I'm gonna get sacrificed to Cthulhu. Great. Just don't, don't summon my husband. It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. Marie? None of this is real. Marie got brought back to life. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? Probably. You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You sound weird. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. This is madness. I'm here to I'm guide you. I'm not doing relaying. Like the voice? Don't you feel him? No. But it can't be. He's gone. You're mistaken. He's still inside of us. She can hear him as well as you do. She's one of us. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. Better? We saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Fuck destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Hey! Don't bring gender into this. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. Yeah, sure, let's do that. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Colin? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Sarah, I'm not picking the Raylan. Tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, up, Mary. <laughs> stop fighting the dead. Shut up, Truth. No one can fight their fate. Neither them. Nor you. Yes, I can. Watch me. Watch me. I'll probably be insane by the end of this, but... I'm gonna go insane by the end of this. I'm gonna get some sort of insanity ending or I'm gonna wake up Cthulhu. <laughs> Bet you anything. Fuck off, Marie. You're not Marie anymore. You're evil infected, Marie. Don't resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. No! Rude. Also, his hair looks, uh, looks a little disheveled, a little less than ideal. What happened to me? You're fine. Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. I'm fucking possessed. God damn it. Yeah, still can't access my inventory, can't check my sanity. Great. 
I get a bad ending. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. For fuck's sake. She would only have slowed me down. <sighs> I'm possessed. I'm possessed. Great. Wonderful. Brilliant. I'm going to wake up Cthulhu, aren't I? I've literally heard that same seagull sound in Final Fantasy X, too. I figured I'd just point it out. Okay. Time to go die. Wait, what? Do I not go this way? Oh, no, I do. Game. 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 Do I not go that way? The fuck? Oh, did I go back the wrong way? Oops. <laughs> Sounds like something I'd do. So I could end it here, but I feel like I'm so close to the end, I think I'm just gonna go to the end. Because this, this feels like the ending. Come on. Unless it wants me to drop down that hole. It doesn't want me to drop down. Oh no, there was a path I missed. Okay, cool. Seems like a bad idea. Again, game developers, stop with Wibbly Bobbly Vision. I get it. He's drunk and possessed. <laughs> very drunk and very possessed. What am I gonna do? Swim? Oh, there's another way? <laughs> ah, game. I guess we're alone with our thoughts and the insane Cthulhu ness After final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabasta Point where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make decisions that can change the destiny of the world. Man, I better get a decision. Cause I'm sorry, husband, I love you, but I can't let you destroy the world. Sorry. I got shit to do. <laughs> Unless the game only gives me the choice to wake up, Cthulhu. And in that case, you better make me your high priest. S. Or high priest. I don't judge. I wish I could run, but it's only letting me walk. And of course, everything has a nice Cthulhu and green tint. I'm in relay. <laughs> I'm in relay. Shut up. Oh, hey. None of this makes sense. Go. She is waiting. Shut up, Truth. Oh, good. At least the Wibbly Wobbly vision's gone. What have they done to me? They've possessed you. You're possessed by Cthulhu. Come on. Shut up. Oh. God, you're so impatient, Truth. Ah, Hurry! I, was expecting you. I shot you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. I super shot you. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? I am a scientist, what I have a degree in it. What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Okay. See, if this game... I, I'm debating whether or not I should end it. Because I don't know how much longer we're going, but this is definitely endgame. Sarah! 
That is not you. Not anymore. Yep. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. <clears throat> You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. <laughs> Excuse? The day has come. You will be asked to choose. And I choose no. Sorry, husband. Dun, dun. Alright, what's the next frickin' vision you got for me, game? Hi! Oh, you're Charles Hawkins, right. Hi, how you doing? What's up? You took everything from me. I didn't do it. Wife. Life. Destiny. Technically, your wife's dad first. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. Well, maybe if you weren't such an abusive I asshole. I sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Because you they needed a non-believer to corrupt to be the truth, blah, blah, blah. Hi, it's me. Hey, Dan. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. Subtitles didn't match. I don't know. I don't know. So you've decided to shut your eyes. Yes. Find refuge. In denial like a spooked child. Only way to stay sane in the You've boss. lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. I like reality. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. You rejected her half-truths. I, I'm gonna go with reality on this one. Again, I'm way too genre savvy about the mythos. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me the ability to run. Game, you're a jerk. Dum. Dum. It's right there. Shut up, Truth. I'm almost there. Uh oh. Oh dear. That's that's Sarah painting on the ground, isn't it? Oh dear. How many denizens are on this island? <laughs> Wait, is that Drake? Oh shit, it is! <laughs> Don't tell me you're a cultist too, dude! Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce. No. As I will deliver the truth. No. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. 
Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! Shut up, Cthulhu! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Drake! Leave Drake alone! Shoot him in the face. Shoot Fitzroy in the face! Shoot Fitzroy in the face. You gotta save Drake! Oh wait, it's that, it's that wicked dagger that we stopped the painting with. I just picked the one that's like, it's over. Don't do this. <laughs> How's Drake? <laughs> Is Drake alive? No one can force you. Where's Drake? <laughs> Wait, where's Drake and Fitzroy? <laughs> Sarah? Sarah? for what? <laughs> oh, that was her son. Did she think she was gonna get her son back somehow if she summoned Cthulhu? Did I just tell her- like, did I just straight up tell her no? Dedicated to the founder of the Chaosium, the Grand Shaman of Gaming, Greg Stafford. I knew it! The Chaosium is, um, is the company that made the called Cthulhu Tabletop Game. I knew that that's what they were basing about, um, the percentage system on. Is that it? Hold on, I'm gonna look something up real quick. So apparently got an ending called Farewell, which is apparently the best ending. <laughs> Even though when I looked it up, it said that you had to drink the alcohol in order to get it, but I didn't drink any. And I didn't read all the books. I found them, but I didn't read them all. I managed to get the best ending apparently though, <laughs> somehow. And I guess counter ritual leaves you insane and, uh, Perform the ritual is summon Cthulhu. 
And I guess there is another ending that um, you kill yourself and you suicide. Um, but I didn't have access to that end because there's only three choices, not four on that wheel. Wait, did I paint that? Or did Sarah paint that? Did she paint her own death? Oh yeah, there's an S there. So, she knew this was an option. I got the farewell achievement. For a best ending, that's kind of anticlimactic, to be honest. Well then. I guess I did it. I successfully didn't summon Cthulhu, and I successfully didn't go insane. And even though we didn't see him in the ending, Drake survived. I somehow managed to flub my way through the, um, into the best ending, playing completely blind. I guess my morality and my uh, genre savviness about the Cthulhu mythos was uh, helpful. <laughs> oh, okay. So it, oh, it gives you an auto save right before you make that final decision, so you can see the other endings. That's really cool, actually. That it drops that right there, so you can get access to all the ones without having to play through the game again. Um, I could show you guys the other endings that I unlocked. But I won't. I gotta leave something for you guys to do on your own, uh, on your own playthroughs of this game. Anyway, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. And I managed to get the best ending playing it blind somehow. I'll see you all in another Let's Play.